What is going on guys? Local Joe here. Welcome back to another LCW Asylum episode right here on my channel. Took the week off last week. Had to get the roster sorted out. Got it all done. The arena looks a little different now. I updated the titles. So you're going to see all the new titles in this show because all the champions are in action welcoming well except for the LCW tag champs nobody from the underground wanted to come to the asylum to face the asylum tag champs so a LCW OG came to my office and he brought an LCW newcomer with him and that person was Death Demon he brought Widowmaker with him, saying, since nobody wants to, is or is nobody scared, or everyone's scared to face the faces of fear, who are the tag champs in the asylum, Death Demon brought Widowmaker, and he said, well, we're not afraid to face them. So then I was like, so you want a piece of them? Is that what you're trying to tell me? He's like, that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. So I was like... You know what? You'll get them tonight then. So every champion is in action on this show. Welcoming the newcomers from the underground to the asylum. So let's get it started. There we go, there it is, the new LCW Arena stage. And welcome to another LCW Asylum episode right here on my channel. It's been a whole week, but we're finally back. North Charleston, South Carolina. It's going to be a great show. Kicking things off with the new assignee to the asylum, Punishment Martinez. Welcome to the asylum. He's got something to say to the LCW universe. So let's give him our full attention. You may have seen Punishment Martinez in WWE recently, or in NXT, I should say. But he's going by the name of Damien, wait, was it Damien Priest, I think. But he's already had his debut match on there as Damien Priest, which was a pretty good one. Got that victory. But on my show, he's still Punishment Martinez, so let's give him our full attention. And I forgot to change the LED um, post things. All right, while he's talking, I'm just going to share the stream real quick.
Martin. He wants to make a statement in LCW. There we go, and shared complete. This is a new me and has some of you might not like it when it's all over, when the dust is settled, I'm standing there holding up that title. There you go. Punishment Martinez wanting to make a statement. He wants that gold already. Well, he's going to have to work for it. What's going on, Fang? The roster is shaking up. As you saw, Punishment Martinez, the newest signee to the asylum. But who from the underground defected to the asylum? Well, Draven Storm is one of them. And I am going to welcome him to the asylum. Looks like Taker's son. I know, right? So this is the first time I'm facing Draven Storm. So yeah, you're going to see all the new title designs because all the champions are in action tonight. Good God. I'm so glad it's not hot over here anymore. Yeah, but you can barely see them in the pictures because of that stupid white background. Now you can see them actually in the light. <laughs> Making his asylum debut coming from the underground the following contest Draven is a Storm. No holds barred match. Making his way to the ring from Cardiff, Wales, weighing in at 264 pounds. Draven Storm. Yeah, they need to fix that background stuff in the next game. Because <laughs> it's way too bright. But there it is. The new LCW Asylum Arena 
Got the LED ring post now. Yeah, that'd be sick. And here we go. The LCW US champ. The new US Wait, title the right there. From Oakland, California. And my new in at My new outfit. Pounds. United States Heavyweight Champion, Loco Joe. Had to rock a new look now. Then the Demon Death Cat match would be, yeah, it'd be way better with all that stuff in it. There it is, the newly designed U.S. title held by yours truly. Looking to welcome Draven Storm to the asylum. Draven Storm's ready. Local Joe is ready. LCW Universe is ready. Luke Des pressed by Draven Storm right from the start. Oh, big shoulder block. And now the patented knee on the back of the neck by Local Joe. No oh, kick right to the face. We saw Punishment Martinez earlier. And he's looking to Keep a close eye on this match. He said he wanted to hold the titles. Was he talking about the U.S. title? No, oh, nice takedown by Local Joe. Ground and pound action right there. No, oh, and then the leg drop follows that up with an elbow drop. And another elbow drop. Oh man, I did not... I did not know my character had that move. <laughs> oh, there's that! Need a face buster. And now Draven Storm's in trouble. Local Joe setting him up for the LXJ. But Draven Storm kicks out. And now Local Joe reversing that with the shoulder block. Nice, nice. Local Joe putting all his weight on the back of the neck of Draven Storm. No! Oh! Mongolian chopped and follows that up with a takedown and the ground and pound action. Draven Storm 
with some forearms across the face of Loco Joe. Oh, then the super storm punch from out of nowhere. But Loco Joe kicks out. Are we going to see that? That Draven stunner. Oh, but Loco Joe saw it coming this time. Oh, knee right to the face. Loco Joe going to the top rope, looking to fly. He's telling Draven Storm to get up. Air Loco coming at you. Oh, man. Draven Storm with a nice takedown. Big clothesline. And another one. Then a flying clothesline. Local Joe, though, with a nice, nice trip. Oh, there it is, the local lock. But he was too close to the ropes. No, oh, super storm punch from out of nowhere. Two. Oh, but local Joe kicks out. Super storm punch hit from out of nowhere. Oh, then the monkey flip. And now multiple shots across the face of Local Joe. There it is. The orange juice stunner. Oh, and he kicks out. Barely kicks out. Local Joe is still in this matchup. Beautiful jawbreaker. Oh, going for a side effect. But a nice dragon suplex by Draven Storm. And Local Joe smartly rolls to the outside. The no juice stunner, right? Draven Storm tossing Local Joe into the LCW universe. And now they've taken this fight into the crowd. There's no count outs, no DQs in this matchup. And now Local Joe finally gets back into the ring. No, oh, hits him with the final cut. Oh, there it is, face buster. Busting Draven Storm wide open. And now Local Joe looking to finish him off once and for all. He's got him up. L X J. Oh my god, Draven Storm kicks out. What an opening contest this has been. Oh man, what the hell was he thinking? Travis Storm busting them open. They've both been busted open. This might be a start of a of a long rivalry between these two. What up, Anthony Walker? Dragon snap suplex right onto the concrete. Draven Storm is now a part of the asylum now, Anthony. I was going to have you on this show, but I know you still want to get your hands on the Dragon King. So I was like, you know what? You could just stay there, fight for that European title. UN Fang. Oh, there's the Storm Stunner. Three Draven Storm from out of nowhere. Hits that Storm Stunner. Or the Draven Stunner, whatever the fuck he calls it. But what an opening contest. The crowd not behind Draven Storm like always.
Hand was under the ropes right there. Ref, of course, does not see it. Here is your winner, Draven Storm, the Punisher. Draven Storm, huge victory on his Asylum debut, defeating the U.S. champ, possibly getting a future U.S. title shot. Well, maybe if he gets a couple more wins heading into the pay-per-view, not this paper, not this next pay-per-view, but the pay-per-view after that, since the Underground get to host this next pay-per-view. I have an idea for Friday. How about you get your European title shot in the main event Friday. If you lose, then you have to come to the asylum. But if you win, you stay on the underground. And then the next one in line for that European title would be Fang. And Fang will get that title opportunity, depends on who has the title, at the next underground pay-per-view in a Demon Death Camp match. But also, from the underground, the Banditas making their Asylum debut, going up against the women tag champs Valkyrie and Megan Starr. Your title match isn't until the pay-per-view, Fang. <laughs> I ain't gonna put a demon death cap match in a regular underground show. That's a pay-per-view match right there. The yep, I did. Freaking insane, dude. There they are, the banditas making their Asylum debut looking to make a huge statement by defeating the women tag champs right here. Here they come. The LCW Asylum Women Tag Champs with their new design tag team titles. So, Anthony, when's MCW going to start? There they go. The women tag champs looking to welcome the banditas to the asylum.
On Friday, I had 1,060 subs, and I put up the tag team of Taker, Reigns versus Drew and Shane. And it's like my channel has blown up from that video with 50k views. And my sub went from good, goodness gracious, man. That's insane. And Jesse with the. With the. Or bouncing her neck off that top, top rope right there. And now Jesse. And Valkyrie battling on the outside. Oh, knee right to the face. MCW and Jimmy W will hopefully start in two weeks. Nice. You should really put like, uh, like names for the shows. Like, just don't have it GMW and MCW. Just put like, put like GMW. Well, for example, like GMW Nitro and MCW Mayhem or something. That'd be pretty cool since you have two shows now. Oh man, bouncing off the concrete is Valkyrie. Jesse all over one half of the women tag champs right there. Oh man, knee right to the face. And another one. My goodness, Jesse. Just all over Valkyrie right now. And now going for a German suplex right onto the concrete. Oh man, spinning heel kick from out of nowhere by Valkyrie. She needs to get her back into the ring, though. Oh, man. Knee right to the face. Oh, Valkyrie's got her up. Or no. I mean, Jesse's got her up with the landslide. One, two. Oh man, almost with the upset right there. Just uploaded a video, Ricochet vs. Lady Styles. That match is rumored to happen. The video got 100 views in an hour. My god. What's the secret there? What are you putting in the tags? No, oh, there's the shooting star press. Two, oh, only a one count by Jesse. And now stretching her arms right there. Looking right at her partner, too. Cool, cool. Big boot by Valkyrie, and now Valkyrie looking to finish off Jesse. Uh oh, here it is. Hammerlock DDT. Cool, cool. Oh, and Maria breaking up the count, then Valkyrie with a clothesline. Oh, Jesse with the elbow across the face. And now the Irish whip into the corner. Oh, going for a slice bread, number two. Oh, look at Maria with the save, though. Her Karana taking out Megan Starr. Woo, what a counter by Megan Starr. Getting rid of Maria right there.
Oh, knife edge chop. Oh, then a scoop slam right into the hardest part of the apron. Oh, then bouncing her head off the apron. But look at Valkyrie still fighting back, looking to return to favor. Snake eyes. These two, these two haven't even tagged in their partners yet. They've been going at it back and forth. Let me check that out. Oh, Duke of Jesse going for a power bomb right onto the concrete. And then making her tap out on the outside, but she has to do that on the inside, though. She has to be in the ring to do that. Oh, man. Oh, high knee lift by Valkyrie. My goodness. That's freaking insane, dude. These two are going at it on the outside. My goodness. Oh, man. I mean, have these two had beef in the past or something? They're fighting like it. I do have two, buddy. Oh, bouncing off the apron. Big clothesline by Valkyrie. Oh, kick right to the face. Trying to go for that big boot again. But Jesse saw it coming this time and bouncing her head off the apron. She needs to toss her back into the ring, though. There we go. And now Jesse, they both need to tag in their teammates. Slice bread number two again. Is that going to be enough? Oh, Megan Starr messed up and tried to attack the ref instead of... She tried to break up the count by attacking the ref instead of going after the pin. My goodness. The banditas come to the asylum and shock the tag champs. Also, when you upload videos, try to get ideas from other video tags as well. That's what I do. Crew, crew. I'll make sure to do that when I upload this or when I premiere this onto YouTube later. But the Banditas, huge victory over the tag champs. Possibly in line for a future title shot. If they could get a couple more wins leading into the next Asylum pay-per-view, they'll get it for sure. You could do that since you have two buddy co John Moxley, the crazy lunatic of the asylum, wants to welcome in the newest, uh, newest asylum member, the Brute. So yeah, Moxley is fucking crazy if he wants to welcome the Brute to the asylum. Dude, I swear, Twitch is always dead on Mondays.
Yeah, I saw Fighter Fist. Fool was insane in that freaking match. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, John Oxley. It's like when he signed with WWE, it's like that it was who I wanted to see in WWE. Like when the shield broke up, I thought he was going to go to that character, but you know, WWE and Vince McMahon. Nope, we can't do that, buddy. Like you could be that crazy person, but you can't go crazy with the weapons, though. And here he comes making his Asylum debut. Who struggled his a lot from no place in the in underground. So maybe some new scenery pounds, might help him out. And yes, this is the Asylum. You usually see the Brute in the underground, but now he's a part of the Asylum. Part of the Superstar shakeup I had. You'll see some new members to the underground on Friday as well. Oh, big shoulder block by the Brute. And now Moxley with the takedown. And now going for a Texas Cloverleaf. Looking to make the Brute tap out already. But look at the strength of the Brute. Oh man, the Brute launching Moxley, showing off his strength, but look at that European uppercut by Moxley. Oh, elbow right across the face. And look at the Brute showing off his strength. Military press slam, bouncing off the ropes. Elbows right to the gut of the Brute. And now Moxley trying to get back in this matchup. No, oh, but bouncing off the Brute. It's a tag team, Winters and Fang versus Sting and a mystery partner. Nice. Can't wait to see that one. No, oh, big forearm. But the Brute back on the offensive. And now putting his 500 plus pound weight right on the abdomen of John Moxley. And now the Brute squeezing Moxley's head. He's going for that Brute recliner. But Moxley fights out of it. Oh, big shoulder block by the Brute. Let's see if he can connect him with that. Reverse choke slam, which always leads to that Brute slam. Oh, but a beautiful takedown by Moxley. And Moxley getting back in this matchup. Trying to get the crowd behind him. But look at the Brute. Stalling. Double underhook suplex.
uh, now working the arm. But the brute fighting back with some punches to the gut. Brute. Boot looking for that brute kick. He has to find the right angle though. This just close line. Man, how did Moxley kick out of that? He almost took his head off with that discus close line. Oh, brute. Looking for that brute slam. Brute's got him up. And down. That's gotta be it. And the Brute comes to the Asylum in his debut match and takes down John Moxley with the Brute Slam. My goodness, what a devastating move that is. The Brute just dominated this whole match. Oh man, Discus clothesline. Almost decapitating Moxley right there. And there it is, the brute slam, man. Such a deadly move. Here is your winner, the destroyer, brute. And just like I said, maybe new scenery for the brute. And he becomes a new man. Can't wait to see. What happens in the future for the Brute in the Asylum? We got Kaiva coming from the underground, making her debut on the Asylum. And a tough task ahead, of, ahead for her with Platinum welcoming her to the Asylum. But this should be one hell of a matchup right here. Former women's champion Platinum going up against a future women's champion in Kaiva. Kaiva, former, former mixed martial artist for Strike Force and the UFC. Tried to make a name for herself in LCW as well. So far, all the newcomers that came from the underground have got victories in their Asylum debuts. Let's see if Kaiva can continue that trend. Platinum looking to welcome Kaiva to the asylum.
This will probably be just a straight up fight. No wrestling involved, just freaking takedowns and ground and pound and all. One reason why I didn't move Platinum to the underground is because she deserves to be in an, in, a, in an asylum. She's a whack job. She needs to be locked up with the straight jacket. <laughs> there we go. Kaiva is ready. Platinum is ready. The LCW universe is ready. Oh, look at Kaiva standing her Karana. But that just pissed Platinum off right there. Platinum with the Irish whip. Oh, hits her with the Yuranagi. Oh, big mistake by Platinum right there. Kaiva taking advantage. Platinum with the European uppercut. Oh, going for that flying clothesline. But here's that takedown I was talking about. Oh, soccer style kick right to the shin. And now Platinum with some elbows right to the skull. Platinum going for the pin already. Only a one count. I think I'm going to go with this MCW Society as my two-hour TV show. Nice, nice. I like that name. Oh, Platinum, no selling that. Olympic slam right there. Platinum, looking to hyperextend that arm. Oh, that's exactly what she does. Latin. I'm just picking apart Kaiva right now. Oh, we're going to see the platinum knee strike. There it is. Platinum just admiring her work, just staring at Kaiva right now. Looking for that platinum jackhammer. And now Kaiva using that top rope as a weapon. Hit her with the sister Abigail right there from out of nowhere. Kaiba looking to pull off the upset victory right here. Discus clothesline. Oh, barely kicking out was platinum. Kaiba can't believe it. Platinum with the nice arm drag. Now bouncing her head off that top turnbuckle. Platinum looking for that superplex to the concrete. And for GMW, GMW impactful. I like it. Sounds good to me. Platinum smartly pushing Kaiva back into the ring right after that superplex of the concrete. Is this going to be enough? Kaiva showing heart. Kicking out of that superplex. Oh, look at Kaiva fighting back. Trying to take out the legs of Platinum. Another Yuranagi. And now, 
Going for that hammer lock, camel clutch type move. But look at Kaiba, her MMA background got her out of that submission hold. Oh, nice. Oh, but look at Platinum. No selling it. That's why Platinum is one of the most dangerous women fighters in the asylum. Oh, nice takedown by Kaiva. It's been one hell of a match so far. Oh, Dragon Screw by Platinum. Oh, big forearm smash. Hitting her with the shoulder block. Platinum connecting with the Platinum Jawbreaker. Will we see that Platinum Jackhammer that she does? Oh, kick right, right to the face. But Platinum seeing that one coming. Kaiba kicking out. So far, it's been one hell of a matchup. European uppercut by Platinum. Kaiba with the Irish whip. Oh, going for a clothesline. Oh, but connecting with the with the forearm. And another clothesline. Dropping the former champion right there. Elbows right to the skull of Platinum. Oh, super kick from out of nowhere. Woo, Platinum barely kicking out right there. Oh man, forearm smash. Oh, going for that running knee, but she got caught up. Kaiva. Looking for her finish. Discus clothesline. That's the second one she's connected with. Is that going to be enough to take down Platinum? Three. Kaiva. Huge victory. Over the former women's champ, Platinum. My goodness, what a match this was. This probably won't be the last time these two clash against each other. That was a great match. Man, if this match was only for a for the women's title, that would be sick. Well, one of them is going to have to win that women's title if I want that to happen. So far, all the new LCW debuts have got victories. There's two more debuts. So we'll see if they can keep the trend going, getting victories. But we got ourselves a tag team match next. Like I said before the show started, nobody from the underground wanted to come to the asylum to face the tag champs, Alpha Terror and Mass Terror. So Death Demon and LCWOG came into my office, brought Widowmaker, the nuke, one of the newcomers to LCW, and said, we ain't afraid of the faces of fear and I was like you guys want you guys want them tonight They're like hell yeah I was like you got it then man so death demon and Widowmaker possibly a new tag team formed right there especially if they could get this victory over the tag champs
hopefully the ring can hold all four of these men who are over 300, 400 plus pounders. But this should be one hell of a tag match right here. Then I believe we got the co-main event next. Finally loaded. Let's get this matchup underway, baby. And we haven't seen Death Demon in hell along. So let's see what he can do in this match. Maybe all he needed is a tag partner. Gonna lurk. All right, cool, cool, cool. Here he comes. Introducing first, from your darkest fears, weighing in at 515 pounds, Fuck. Death Demon. 515? Are you insane? I swear, everyone in this match is close to 500 pounds. This was a former... LCW World Heavyweight Champ in Season 1 of LCW. He hasn't done much in Season 2. Maybe that'll all change after this match. It's like maybe he just needed a tag partner. I know he did have a tag partner in season one, but his tag team partner didn't re-sign with LCW in season two. Here comes his new tag team partner. This is Widowmaker. And his partner from Death Valley, weighing in at 328 pounds, the Warlock. Really? There's, am I seeing this right? There's Twitch Prime loot for GTA 5 and Red Dead Online? I'm going to have to check that out later. What a way to kick off the second hour, though, of this show. What a gigantic tag team match. Widowmaker still trying to make a name for himself in LCW debuted a couple weeks ago. 
if they could get this win over the tag champs, then for sure they'll get a tag team title shot at the next pay-per-view. Here they come, the LCW Tag Team Champions. With the new tag team title belts. Okay, JoJo, they're the tag team, the heavy, what are they, the heavyweight tag team champions, or tag team heavyweight champs. Come on, JoJo, get it right. There we go. Death Demon is ready. Alpha Terror is ready. Oh my god, Alpha Terror right from the start. But look at Death Demon taking down Alpha Terror. Trying to tag in Widowmaker. Oh, Big Boot barely, barely doing effect on Alpha Terror. Now Widowmaker bringing Alpha Terra back into the ring, but look at Alpha Terra take back the momentum. And now Alpha Terra looking to tag in his partner, Mass Terror, but Widowmaker saw it coming. And now another Irish whip to the corner. And finally tags in Mass Terror. No oh, uppercut right to the gut. Oh, but a big clothesline by Widowmaker. These four men are gigantic. Probably the biggest men in LCW. And plus now the brutes in the asylum. So all the big bastards are like on the asylum now. Oh, clothesline that didn't have no effect, but that flying forearm did, dropping Mass Terror. Oh man, but now focusing on that arm. Big boot by Mass Terror. Oh, but look at Alpha Terror showing off his strength. Oh. Missing with that clothesline. Oh, knife has shot and then returns the favor. Follows that up with the DDT. The tag champs are in control of this matchup right now. And now Mass Terror showing off his strength. Launching Death Demon. Oh, we're gonna see. The stampede from hell. Oh, 
Alvatera tags back in. And now Widowmaker trying to get a sneak in a kick, but had no effect. Widowmaker breaking up the count smartly. Oh, but Mass Terror taking out Widowmaker right there. Oh, man, big chop. Widowmaker trying to take on both Alpha Terror and Mass Terror, but Mass Terror connecting with the Rainmaker. Oh, going for that. That death strike move. But now Alpha Terror going for that Dragon Sleeper. Is Death Demon going to tap out here? And now Alpha Terror showing off his strength, launching Death Demon. Let's see if he can get his tag, get his partner involved now. Death Demon calling his shot right there. But I think doing that might have cost him right there. Uh oh, there it is. Running power slam. That's how they won the tag titles. Widowmaker breaking up the count just in time. Big elbow. 500 plus pound elbow coming right through your heart right there. Let's see if Def Demon could tag in his partner. Death Demon with the follow-away slam bouncing Alpha Terror off the off the ropes right there. Death Demon, oh, going for a side slam, but Alpha Terror saw it coming. And now Alpha Terror tagging in Mass Terror. Double back body drop. And now looking to make him bleed. Oh man, look at the strength. Ooh, man. The strength of Mass Terror is freaking unbelievable. Belly to belly by Death Demon. And look at him. He's trying to get power. He needs to tag in his partner, though. Big clothesline. And another one. And a nice trip. Oh, flying forearm. And now looking to tag in his partner. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Man! Reverse suplex to the outside. And I think... Death Demon just saved his partner from getting scoop slammed right onto the concrete. Flatliner. And Death Demon just launching Mass Terror. Oh man, punch right to the gut. Big right hand by Mass Terror and another, and another. Oh, big chop by Death Demon. And now looking for a power bomb and connects. And now goes for the Boston Crab. And he makes Mass Terror tap out. But that's on the outside. He should have done that inside the ring. Big headbutt by Mass Terror. And now launching him. 
up the announcer's table and does it again. Multiple right hands, follows that up with a kick, and then a sit-down jawbreaker. And now Russian leg sweep right onto the steel, steel chair right there. And now Death Demon calling his shot. And now focusing on the leg of Mass Terror. Oh, going for a clothesline. But Mass Terror back on the offensive. Hitting him with another Russian leg sweep, doing damage to the neck of Mass Terror. Oh, big clothesline. And now Alpha Terror helping his partner out. Oh, but look at Mess. Or no, Death Demon. Showing off his strength. Let's see if we get him back into the ring now. Oh, bouncing off the LED board right there. Oh, look at him trying to choke him out. Oh, big punch right to the gut, dropping Death Demon. And now Death Demon, or Mass Terror, doing a little shimmy right there. Oh, hits him with the running knee. Could he get him back into the ring, though? Another running knee, busting Death Demon wide open. Finally gets him back into the ring. And now gets the hot tag into Widowmaker. Oh. Going for a right hand, but Mass Terror saw it coming. But now Widowmaker, big shoulder block. And now bouncing his head off that top turnbuckle. It's been one a hell of a tag team match. Mass Terror going for that running power slam. Is that going to be enough? Oh, his foot was too close to the ropes right there. No oh, big boot busting Mass Terror wide open. And he smartly rolls to the outside. And now Mass Terror with the Irish whip. And he tags in Alpha Terror. Are we gonna see it? Boom! There it is. The power slam. That's gotta be it. Could Death Demon break it up? And that's exactly what he does. Oh! Running Bulldog. Taking out Death Demon from this match. Oh no, Widowmaker's got him. Tombstone, is that gonna be it? Mass Terror smartly rolls back into the ring to break up the count. Death Demon needs to get back up to help out Widowmaker. Oh, I rake, big boot. And now going for some snake eyes, connecting. Follows that up with a clothesline, at another clothesline. Ducks under another clothesline into a power slam. And right now the champs are in control. Double axe handle right onto the arm. But Widowmaker with the Irish whip trying to tag in Death Demon. 
missing with that flying clothesline. Uh oh. Is Widowmaker going to go old school right now? Oh man. Widowmaker connecting with old school. Goes for the pin. Oh, Mass Terror barely kicks out. What a tag team match. Elbow right to the gut. Widowmaker fighting back. Going for a clothesline, but Mass Terror saw it coming. Oh, missing with the running knee. That's how he busts open uh, Death Demon. Big clothesline. Mass Terror kicking out. Can Widowmaker and Death Demon finish off the tag champs? Death Demon playing, or Mass Terror playing possum. Uh oh. Widowmaker and Death Demon giving Mass Terror the stampede from hell using their own move on Mass Terror. Oh man! Basement dropkick right to the gut. Oh man! Widowmaker and Death Demon defeat the tag team champions. What a huge win for these two. And that's all Death Demon needed was a partner. Same with Widowmaker. What a win. Here are your winners, Death Demon and the Warlock. Huge win for Widowmaker and Death Demon. And now in line for an LCW title, LCW tag team title shot in the future, possibly at the next pay-per-view. What a match. Here we go. Co-main event right here. Colleen Masters now on the asylum. I'm not playing this. This is just a show. Computer plays it, I c commentate. But if you have a character and you want to be a part of this show, upload it using the hashtag LCW and I'll get you on one of these shows, either on the Asylum or on the Underground. But Colleen Masters, who was on a roll on the Underground, thinks she's done enough by defeating most of the women on the underground now wants to do have that same success on the asylum now and what a better way to start things off is going up against the women's world champ let's see if that momentum can keep on going in the asylum for Colleen Masters Making her way to the ring from London, England, Cole Lee Masters. Colleen, who was in line for a title, women's title shot on the underground. Well, she'll be in line for a women's world title shot over here. Win or lose in this match. 
said she's been on fire lately. And speaking of women's world champ, here she comes, the daughter of the legend Eddie Guerrero. And there's the new LCW Women's World title. The new design Women's World title. I ain't gonna lie. I like that. I love that belt. Just like the old school WWE title right there. Let's see if Colleen's momentum that she's had in the underground can continue right here tonight. Oh, they both going for similar moves right there. And Colleen. Colleen with the Irish whip and now Saud with the Irish whip. Oh, going for a fall away slam, but Colleen reversing that into a tornado DDT and hits the code breaker from out of nowhere. Colleen showing off her agility. Oh, beautiful move. And now Colleen all over the champ right now. High knee lift into a neck breaker. But look at Saul Guerrero with the kip up. Flying clothesline. And now look at her. Showing her. Lucha Brack background right there. Oh man, what a backflip by Colleen Masters. Hits her with the reverse blockbuster. So far it's been a back and forth type match. This is the first time these two are going at it one on one. The champ bouncing Colleen's head off the top turnbuckle, barely connecting with that flying clothesline. Just enough to slow down Colleen. DDT. Snap DDT, I should say. And now, Saul Guerrero going for a submission hold, but Colleen fights out of it. Champ getting that kick in first. And now going for the three Amigas. Just like her father, Eddie Guerrero, usually leads up to that frog splash. Colleen kicks out. Colleen needs to get, she needs to get up. Here it comes, the standing frog splash. That's how she won the title. But Colleen kicks out. Saul Guerrero has not fought somebody like Colleen who never gives up. Colleen looking for the AMK. Could she connect it? AMK! Is that going to be enough? Oh, and the champ kicks out just in time. Colleen barely or almost getting that victory. Double axe handle and another one. Oh, shoulder block. And the elbow. 
Oh, high knee lift by the champ. Flying clothesline. Is this going to be enough? Only a one count. Oh, clothesline to the outside by Colleen Masters. And now telling the champ to get up. No, oh, missing with the elbow. Reverse DDT by Colleen Masters. Oh, bouncing her off the hardest part of the ring right there. Oh, double axe handle by the champ. And now the champ back in control of this matchup. Smartly rolls her back into the ring looking to finish her off. But Colleen playing possum. Nice takedown. And now goes for the figure four sharpshooter. Is Colleen going to tap out here? Colleen fighting out of it. Connecting with the right hand and pushing her off. But the champ. Oh, hitting her with the power bomb cutter right there. And now standing frog splash. That's got to be it. Colleen kicks out again. I wasn't kidding when, she, I, when I mentioned that she does not give up. Colleen is the heart and soul of the LCW women's division. But look at that combo by the champ. Trying to finish her off. But look at Colleen with the jawbreaker. Exploder suplex. That usually, that's usually the setup to the AMK. Now going for the three amigas again. And three. Is that going to be it for Colleen Masters? Oh, going for that flying forearm. Colleen fighting back with some elbows to the gut. Could she connect with that AMK from out of nowhere? Big mistake by Colleen right there. But Colleen still fighting back. Oh, bitch slap. And now Colleen looking for some double knees to the gut. Oh, and connects. That's got to be it. Oh, my God. The champ kicks out. My goodness. What's Colleen going to have to do? Is it one more AMK? There it is. Is that going to be enough to finish off the champ? Two, three, Colleen's momentum continues right here on the Asylum. Winning in her Asylum debut over the women's world champ. My goodness. Colleen has been on fire for months now. I can't rem remember the last time she lost. That's how long it's been. I think it's been like two months. I think ever since her last women's title opportunity that she lost in a triple threat match. Ever since then, she hasn't lost 
That was like three, four pay-per-views ago. Here is your winner, Cole Lee Masters. Colleen. In line to face the women's world champ. She will get that shot at the next pay-per-view. Here's the surprise right here. Coming from the underground, now on the asylum. OJJ said he was, he did enough on the underground. He's done everything on the underground, world champ, hardcore champ. Almost became a tag champ, but he's been on a roll over there too in the underground wants to do the same thing in the asylum now he wants to go after that world title shot or world world champ he wants to go after that US champ and possibly if he could find a tag team partner maybe go after them tag team titles against those big bastards the faces of fear but let's see what OJJ has to say the newest member to the asylum. Welcome, OJJ. I don't work hard, work as hard as everyone else. It's because I don't have to. My pure talents, my raw emotions should be getting me to the top. So what the hell is going on? I should be the size of the Grand Canyon right now. <laughs> OJJ. He wants gold around his waist already. Whether it's tag titles, whether it's the US title, whether it's the world heavyweight title. You guys really don't want to keep pushing my buttons. I'll be a real thorn in your side if you keep it up. Y'all hear me? I will ruin all of you. OJJ with some tough words to the locker room and to the fans. Well, OJJ can back up those words next week when he makes his in-ring debut on the Asylum. I'm not sure against who yet, but actually, I think I do. I think I will have him face. Draven Storm to renew a rivalry from the underground. Because I know OJJ hates Draven Storm still. So I know he wants to get his hands on him one last time. But here we go. This is the main event. John Wolf, another newest member to the asylum coming from the underground. 
asked for this match because he wanted to get some revenge on Ray Wolf, who we fought before the Civil War pay-per-view and came up short. So this time he wants to get that big victory since now Ray Wolf is the World Heavyweight Champ now. So what he's thinking, if I could get the win over the champ, I'm definitely in line for a title shot, which is true. Because right now, I don't know who's going to face Ray next. So if John Wolf can get that win, then for sure he will be in line for a future title shot. Maybe OJJ wants to get a title shot against Ray. And here he comes making his asylum debut. Looking to get some revenge on Ray Wolf. The Battle of Wolves. Ray Wolf versus John Wolf. I ain't gonna lie, John Wolf has impressed me a lot watching his matches on the underground. I believe he did get a title shot at the LCW championship on the underground one time. I think it was against OJJ when he had it and OJJ defeated him. And it was a hell of a match. So I wouldn't mind seeing that match again this time in the asylum. Too late, JoJo. There he comes, the world heavyweight champion with his new attire. And the newly designed world heavyweight title belt. For once JoJo didn't mess up saying champion twice. Let's see if Ray Wolf could stop this trend of newcomers coming to the asylum getting the victory in their debut matches.
Oh, John Wolf barely connecting with that crossbody. Just enough to slow down Ray Wolf. Missing with that big boot, though. John Wolf, I was about to say, was all over Ray Wolf, but Ray with that, with that haymaker shot. Missing with that big boot again. Missing with that running, running super kick. Oh, spinning heel kick by John Wolf. No, we saw Punishment Martinez earlier when he came out to Local Joe's match. And now looking to sneak in that victory. It's like he came in to watch the U.S. champ. Now he's trying to watch the World Heavyweight champ. He either wants a title shot with either one of those belts or maybe he wants to be a part of Los Loco Lobos, which I wouldn't mind. Well, Punishment Martinez will make his in-ring debut next week. So he's going to have to show me and Ray what he's got in that match if he wants to be a part of Los Loco Lobos. Oh, hitting him with that T-bone or TKO knee knee strike, whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh, hits him with the power bomb lung blower. Is that going to be enough? Ray Wolf kicking out. Ray Wolf with a nice arm drag. Let's see if we can get back in this matchup. John Wolf with some elbows right to the gut. Ray Wolf going for that brain buster neck breaker and connects. And now setting him up for the Wolf Driver. But John Wolf kicks out. Ray Wolf has got to hit that full moon salt. Close line. Elbow. Ray Wolf showing off his lightning fast speed. Oh, going for a super kick. But John Wolf saw it coming. Look at that move. And now John Wolf looking to finish him off. He's going for it again. Powerbomb lung blower. And Ray Wolf kicks out. John Wolf can't believe it. And now John Wolf showing off his speed to Ray. No! Oh, it's a gurry kick from out of nowhere. And now Ray going right after John Wolf. No! Oh, kick right to the gut. Ray with a nice right hand. And now going for some snake eyes. And busting them wide open on the hardest part of the apron. Are we going to see the brain buster? Nope. Suplex to the outside right onto the concrete. Ray with the reversal into an inverted DDT. 
Ray's got to get him back into the ring, though. And he listened. <laughs> Ray looking to finish him off. Oh, going for that springboard knee strike. Ray with the European uppercut. And now going for the brain buster neck breaker. John Wolf with the jawbreaker. Power bomb lung blower. And John Wolf continues the trend. Every newcomer that came to the asylum won in their debut matches. Draven Storm won in his debut match. The Brute won, his, won in his debut match. Kaiva won in her debut match. Um, Coley Masters won in her debut match. And now John Wolf won in his debut match. And now is in line for a future world title shot. Here is your winner, John hmm. Wolf, the Punisher Martinez. You know what? Hmm. Trying to think of a match. Punisher Martinez. Like I said, he either wants a title shot with either the U.S. title or the World Heavyweight title. Or wants to be a part of Los Loco Lobos. Because he showed up on both mine and Ray's matches. But I'm going to do a quick recap. You saw Punisher Martinez open the show with a promo. Saying he wants to make a statement in the asylum. And I guess he kind of did. Showing up on Local Joe's match. And as you saw at the end in Ray Wolf's match. But we kicked off the show with Draven Storm getting a victory over yours truly Local Joe. That was one of many debuts. Um... Who got their victory in their debut matches? So Draven Storm got his debut match. The Banditas getting their victory over the women tag champs in their debut match. Huge win for them. The Brute getting a victory in his debut match against John Moxley. Kaiva getting the victory in her debut match against Platinum. Widowmaker and Deathman win in their debut match as a tag team over Alpha Terror and Mass Terror. Colleen Masters getting a victory over the champ in her debut match. And then OJJ cutting a promo saying that he's going to take either title, whether it's tag team title, US title, world heavyweight title, he's going to take it. So, welcome OJJ to the Asylum. And then finally, John Wolf in his debut match getting the victory over the World Heavyweight title, who he'll face probably at the next Asylum pay per view. So, in store for next week, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to have to go through uh, the roster again to see. Because there might be some more superstars from the underground. That are going to be on the Asylum now next week. I'm not sure yet. But this Friday, see the newcomers to the underground. Who from the Asylum got sent to the underground? Find out this Friday. I can't wait to see what goes on in that, in, on that show. Um, I know the main event for sure. 
is going to be Anthony Walker versus Dragon King for the European title. If Dragon King, if Anthony Walker could take the title from Dragon King, he stays in the underground. If not, then he has to move to the asylum and be a part of that show or this show. So it's a huge opportunity for Anthony Walker because he could be European champ or he could come to the asylum and try to take over this show, fight for the U.S. title, possibly the Euro, uh, world heavyweight title. Either way, it's going to be a great show. It's going to be a great main event. Hope to see you guys there. I'm going to end the show slash stream right now. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching this on the on the premiere on YouTube, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that follow button on here if you don't want to miss another LCW uh, live show. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know Fang is going to be watching that European title match closely on Friday because he's going to face the winner of that match at the next underground pay-per-view in a demon death cap match so just be in store for that thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on friday or sometime during the week if i stream again whether it's fortnite or something else but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on friday for sure for a new lcw underground episode see who from the asylum or see who from the asylum defected to the underground. Can't wait to see. I'll see you guys there. Local.